Do you struggle falling asleep at night? Even when you do get 7 to 8 hours of sleep, do you wake up the next morning feeling exhausted? If you stay in bed tossing and turning around every night, you are not alone. In the US alone, over 50 million people suffer from chronic sleep problems. Here are the top 5 reasons for sleep related problems. If you drink coffee or energy drinks later in the day, you will probably just toss and turn in your bed when it's time to sleep. It's a no brainer. Caffeine acts as a stimulant, which can give you a brief boost of energy, but in turn, it affects your sleep quality. Caffeine enters your bloodstream within 10 minutes after consuming an energy drink. In the following 15 to 45 minutes, most of the caffeine is absorbed and your blood contains peak caffeine levels. As a result, you feel more alert and experience enhanced concentration, but once the energy levels drop, it can leave you feeling even more tired and sluggish the next day. You can easily fall into a cycle where you feel like you need caffeine to make it through the day, which is great for Starbucks, but not so great for your sleep and overall health. If you are used to scrolling down your Facebook or Instagram feeds in bed before you sleep, you might want to reconsider doing that tonight. Using electronic devices before bedtime reduces your sleep quality. Melatonin is a hormone that is controlled by light exposure. This hormone regulates your sleep-wake cycle. When it's dark, your brain secretes more melatonin, making you sleepy. And when it's light, melatonin production reduces, making you more alert. Using electronic devices can alter your body's production of melatonin and shift your circadian rhythm. If this is a habit of yours, know that you are not alone. Studies show that 95% of people use some kind of electronic device before bedtime on at least a few nights each week. If you eat a heavy dinner just before going to bed, you may find that it interferes with your sleep patterns. You should give 2-3 to three hours between your last meal and bedtime. This allows digestion to occur and the contents of your stomach will move into your small intestine. This may prevent problems like heartburn at night and even insomnia. The process of digestion can keep you awake, so it's best to leave time between dinner and bedtime. If you have trouble getting a good night's sleep, it might be because your body's natural sleep-wake cycle or circadian rhythm is out of sync. This happens when you do not maintain a routine of going to bed at the same time every night. Try to limit the difference in your sleep schedule on weeknights and weekends to no more than one hour. The more your sleep schedule differs, the worse the jet lag-like symptoms you experience will be. Alcohol can help you fall asleep faster, so it can mislead you into believing that it's helping you sleep. Unfortunately, it also reduces the quality of your sleep. Alcohol also has a diuretic effect, which may cause constant trips to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Getting a healthy amount of sleep is crucial to having a healthy body. Observe your habits and routines and make the changes that need to be made in order to allow your body the time it needs to rest, and make sure it's getting that rest at similar times each day. The habits may be difficult to break, but you'll definitely notice the difference and you'll be glad you did.